Christians. Um, and we don't carry the same beliefs as Nigel does. New tonight, a local man out of a job after he was spotted in this picture that was published by the New York Times over the weekend. The picture was taken just hours before this violence broke out at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, where police say one of the men in this picture, this one, drove his car into a group of protesters, killing one. Our Alexis Simmons talked with Nigel Croft today, the other man featured in the picture, and uh, tells us, uh, Alexis, why did the company say they let him go? Well, Limehouse and Son said a caller alerted them that their employee was pictured at the rally. They said they were not aware of his beliefs, but when they found out, they fired him. Nigel Crofta says he wasn't surprised, but found out about his firing through social media because he lost his phone at the protests. And I saw it, and definitely him. It was a sick feeling to know that, uh, that we had uh, somebody like that working here alongside the rest of us. Those words coming from a Limehouse and Sons employer after finding out that their employee, Ridgeville resident Nigel Crofta, went to a rally in Charlottesville in support of the white nationalist movement. Crofta says he felt it was a possibility he could get fired. I don't blame him. If they're gonna lose business for it, I don't, I don't blame him for it. This happens to people all the time, you know. I wasn't really surprised. Crofta is a self-identified alt-right and white nationalist. The defining thing about the alt-right is that we want to preserve white identity and white heritage. According to police, the man standing next to Crofta drove into counter protesters, killing a woman and injuring 19 others. Crofta says he had just met him after the protest and didn't find out about the incident until after it happened. It's a fight or flight response. A Limehouse employee says since the photo, they've been receiving negative feedback. You brought a definite uncomfortableness to this company. The company posted on social media that they do not condone the actions. So what do I say to people saying we stand for hate? I just say just broaden your horizons and maybe read some opposing views. We're, we're Christians um, and we don't carry the same beliefs as Nigel does. And, and, and Crofta said that he actually went to return some of his work items tonight. He was scheduled to work and he's looking to meet with the company at some point tomorrow. I'm live in the control room. Back to you, Raphael. All right, Alexis, thank you.